The guy you're looking at is the world's fastest human calculator. He can literally add numbers faster than he can talk. 36364392420. Who is he? How is he so smart? And did you know that he didn't even graduate from high school? 1535. Oh my god, you got it right. That's amazing. In Arizona, USA, I found Scott. Hi, I'm Scott Flansburg, and I'm faster than any calculator on the planet Earth. This guy is so fast, he can keep adding any number to itself 36 times in 15 seconds. And it looks like this. Ready? Yes. 21. Plus. 46. Plus. 73. Plus. 86. Plus. 62. Plus. 24. Plus. 96. Plus. 113. Plus. 104. Plus. 139. Plus. 178. Plus. 191. Plus. 142. Plus. 123. Plus. 137. 1535. Oh my god, you got it right. That's amazing. But first, let me tell you how all of this started. In third grade, Scott wasn't paying attention in math class. So to punish him, his teacher called him to the board and asked him to solve a math question. But instead of getting into trouble, he got the correct answer without preparation. So the teacher gave him another math problem and he got the right answer again. So I just added up the column of numbers going down the columns backwards and just said the answer out loud. And she was like, you're right, but how? where's your carry? How'd you do that? And I said, oh, don't you start over here? She goes, no, you have to start over here. And so she gave us another one and I did it just as fast and she goes what are you doing scott didn't just get the answer right by luck he actually discovered a new way of counting and that's when i realized that maybe teachers don't know everything they may, maybe they're just teaching what they know and so from that point forward I, everything i would learn in math class i would look for an easier way to get the answer apparently when you think of numbers from zero to nine as opposed 1 to 10, you can visualize the number grid better. And that, apparently, makes it easier to do multiplying and addition of numbers. I realized that everyone was learning how to count from 1 to 10, but if you want to think like a calculator, there's no 10. It's really 0 through 9. And it turns out that doing numbers in your head is much easier left to right than right to left. When you do it right to left, you have to remember all these numbers you're coming up with and carrying. When you start from the left, you're just keeping one running total, which makes it much easier because all those numbers that you go by and do disappear. You don't need to think about them anymore. And so left to right is just a much more efficient approach to doing mental math. His unique method and his unique brain became a deadly combination. Before he knew it, he became the fastest human calculator in the world. Not once, but twice according to the Guinness World Record, without ever attending college or graduating from high school. Punch in a two-digit number, the same two-digit number, and hit equals. And I'm going to start counting by that number. This is my world record. So tell me what number you picked. I picked 26. So do you have 52? Yes. Hit equals again to say 78, mm -hmm. 104, 130, 156, 182, 208, 234, 260, 286, 312, 338, 364, 390, 416, 442, 468, 494, 520. So my world record is 36 <laughs> times in 15 seconds. Now he goes to visit schools to show kids that math is not as complicated as we think. Most students find math boring just because of the way it's taught. So what I do is try to figure out ways to make math real so that you run into these things in everyday life. There's all kinds of opportunities to allow students and parents to see how important numbers are, whether you're at the grocery store, doing your checkbook, buying a house, buying a car, leasing a car, all these different choices and options come down to numbers. And so I use every opportunity I can in everyday life to help make numbers and math more real for students. He invented fun patterns, came up with easy tricks for kids to count. Numbers are the most precise, powerful, and popular language on the planet Earth. My mission is to help them see how numbers 
are all around us in everyday life. Whether you use money, fractions and decimals, there's all kinds of things around our everyday lives that are perfect for lessons to show students how important numbers truly are as you grow into being an adult, is whether it's your bank account, savings, interest, do you buy a car, lease a car, there's so many numerical decisions that come up in life. It's just better to have students with a solid foundation of number sense. Scott's story shows us that there is always more than one way to learn, more than one way to find your answers, Sometimes you just need to make your own rules. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching Nas Daily. Nas means people in Arabic, humans. And we are on a mission to show you the stories of humans from all around the world. I'm actually very excited about the videos we're working on. So please follow us on Facebook and Instagram so that you don't miss a video. We think everybody in the world should watch them. Thank you and see you soon.